Good morning, students. Today we will have to discuss about the anatomy of the body, and especially uh, tissue system of this particular. Uh, this, this tissue system has epidermal tissue. Now, firstly, we will have to discuss about the epidermal tissue. In this particular tissue, especially in the stem and leaves, in a stem we will see that the tissues are the cells of this particular tissue are compactly attached. There is no intercellular space in this particular tissue and have well defined nucleus. This tissue, this cell, may be hexagonal like this or polygonal but have well developed well developed nucleus. This type of compactly arranged cells, the intercellular space are it is present both in stem as well as in the root. But in the leaf it has been observed that the especially the upper epidermis, lower epidermis or the topmost epidermis of the uppermost layer of the leaf, it has been observed that the certain pore pore like structure are also this type of structure is also and it is also called this is also this is mainly called stroke. Now we will have to discuss the, what is the structure of the stroke. This stomata have two cell that is kidney set, this kidney set cells, and this cell is called the heart cell. The inner epidermis, inner layer or inner layer of this heart cell is thick rather than that of the outer. This is the Two guard cells. It has well differentiated nucleus, etc. And this guard cell is surrounded by the many other cells. They provide salt as well as water. Now, the why this particular is thick and what is the cause of the thickness? What happens when the endosmosis takes place? The pressure will be exerted on this one. Like this, pressure is like this here, but the intensity of the pressure is equal. But what happens? The expansion is greater here, and due to that, what happens? The stomata become this thickness is due to the opening and responsible for the opening and closing of this. When the but osmosis will be taking place, then the, it become closed or reduce. This is the main significance of this particular thinness or the thickness of the cells. The endosmosis is due to the concentration differentiation of the uh, chemicals that is solid in nature. This type of stomata is present in the dicot, dicot leaf. But in monopot leaf, it has been observed that the stomata is not, the stomata have no this type of kidney set guard cells, but it has dumbbells in this structure. Like this. Like this. And it is also enclosed with the this type of mesophilic cells. The inner wall of this particular stomata is also thick. This type of question is very much common in the competitive point of 
competitive examination that what type of stomata is present in the dicot and the monocot leaves. See the major difference in monocot leaves, the dark cells are dumbbell cell and in the dicot leaf is kidney cell. In addition to that, now so what is the function of this stomata? This stomata is responsible for the transmission of the water inflow of the water and the gaseous exchange. In addition of this particular stomata, there are certain other cells are also present and they are responsible for the provide protection to the plant. In certain plant, it has been observed that that particular cell will secrete certain substances. They are very much protective for the grazing animals. They are that particular chemical that particular secretions may be acidic may be something else or the some uh, fume some uh, smelling agent is also released on that so this type of cells are present in the epidermis now the vascular vascular cells or vascular tissue vascular tissue in previous lecture we have discussed that this vascular tissue is not a simple tissue but it is a complex tissue because they are made up of more than one type of cells and this vascular tissue is of two types one is the xylem and another is the phloem. we have discussed in detail that what is the function of that xylem and phloem and what are the structure of the xylem and phloem here we will discuss about the what type of vascular bundle is present. Now vascular bundle, what do you mean by vascular bundle? It has been observed that if you cut a section of the stem or the root, then we can observe that the vascular distribution, xylem and phloem are arranged in the different way in the root or in the suit or in the leaf. Now, what type of arrangement is present in the root, suit or the leaf, we will discuss here. The first type of vascular tissue or the vascular bundle is the radial, radial vascular. In this type of vascular bundle, it has been observed In this collateral, what happens? The xylem and phloem, phloem here, xylem. Like this, it is called 
collector. It means the phloem is towards radius and xylem is towards center. If phloem is in both the sides, here is phloem, here is phloem, and this one is the xylem. Then this is called bicollector. In the one of the uh, characteristic, one of the type of classification of the conjugate. The second type of the classification is the open and closed. Open and closed. Conjoint open and closed. In this type of vascular bundle, it has been observed that if this one is the phloem, this one is the xylem, there is a cambium. If this type of vascular bundle is present, that is called open type of scroll. And if the vascular bundle have phloem and xylem without cavity, then it is called closed vascular. Overall, we can divide this conjoint into open, closed, collateral and bicolor. In one condition, it has been observed that if the vascular bundle, if the xylem is surrounded by phloem or phloem is surrounded by Xylem. This type of arrangement of the xylem and phloem is called centric or concentric. Centric type. What happens? Suppose this is the two types two food One. The phloem is present here and xylem is present. One xylem is present here, phloem is present. It means phloem is surrounded by xylem and xylem is surrounded by phloem. If the xylem is surrounded by phloem, then it is called empty vessel. Empty vessel. It means the xylem is surrounded by the phloem. And if the xylem, phloem is surrounded by xylem, it is called empty right? It means three types of the classification of the conjoint. One is the collateral, another is the bicollateral, one is the open, another is the closed, and third classification is the empty vessel and empty. This is the whole about the vascular system. Now, in next video, we will discuss about the what type of ground tissues are present and what is the function of the ground tissue.